Hello everyone, welcome back to Disciples Liberation. Alright, so uh, where we left off in the last episode, we're going to go talk to the host. This is one of Bagthal's, or Companion's, quests. Let's uh, see how tough this fight is. Okay. I have a feeling this is not going to be an easy fight. It's like everybody's healed, full mana. Good. Ah, the eye of the molten moons returns. What an honor it is. Have you come to fight? I want to fight you. I'm here for a fight, all right. I want to see you in the pits. I'm going to tear you limb from limb. That's so? It is. Prove myself to Harak, now you prove yourself to me? Yeah, Alien could use a man of your talents, but we don't accept just anyone. Prove yourself in battle, and I may let you enter our hallowed walls. You sense my love for Hurik waning? You know me better than anticipated. But also know that if you fight me, there will be no one to host the pits. It will echo with nothing but the screams of ghosts. Surely you don't want that. Oh. Oh, but I do. I want it very, very much. Prepare to die. All right. Uh, you guys are 11. There's quite a few of them. Berserkers. I don't know what you are. Reign of a Thousand Flames. Freak of Darkness. Cone damage. Wow, okay. Just gotta defeat the host. So we could all focus on him and just to kill him. Alright. We'll see where he's at. He's trappable. Of course, he's right there. Primal immunity? Is that what that said? Or power. Uh. Feel the snake's bite. I'll take this. I'll sneak past them. Diana. Well, we're not going to get up to you. I know that much. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to move these guys up just a little bit. I think that will be good. Um. Where do I want you? I'll put you here. That's good. Rage. Wrath. I was hoping they couldn't go that far. God, they just opened him up too. Damn it. Want him up that far. Pressing the enemy. We make our stand here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just wear them down. With the dude that beat you. Oh, you can't make it that far. Um, you can make it this far though. Do I want you right there, though? Um. Why not? Why not? Oh. Okay. Can I hit anybody from here? I can hit you. I can kill him. 
Shadowcaster. We're gonna hit somebody else. Yeah, we'll hit somebody else. Hopefully you can kill him. Don't be gippy! Yes. Perfect. Now it's all their turn. Pain lightning. Or a maggot. You are a maggot for healing him. All right, he can run to that. Oh, does that fire stay? Uh, oh, he avoided the... Help. He took the power. He might go down here. Right, we gotta get these people out of here. Okay. Get rid of him. Feel the snake fight. I think we're getting good at this. Um. Mm. I'm up here. Gives me time to bring these other guys up. Uh, I'm not going into the fire. I gotta leave that room for these people to get out of there too. Move out. I'd like to be able to kill that guy. Get rid of those heals. He can't go any further. Victorious. Sadly. Hurt. Whips. Don't tell me he goes again. If he goes, yeah, I'm dead. Damn it! All right. Man, I was hoping that my turn would be up. They're gonna hurt if I go through this one too. It might. Just get him out of there. Did he die? Well. I can't hit him. I can hit him. I want to heal. Let's do a heal. Oh, I can't reach that far. Oh, man. Alright, we can only do one of these, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, oh no! What are you gonna do? Oh, that is cool. Uh, you get over here. What was that? Feel my blade. Quickly. Die. 
Yeah. How do you put an honor? What is that? So we have a certain debuff on us. Can you hear the voices? Hate. Wrath. Uh. Ouch. James. Uh -huh. These berserkers are tough. Okay, I was gonna say, does he take damage? It's after his turn. Pressing the enemy. There will be no surrender. Wow, how close do I have? I mean, a few squares away. Very good. I'm going around him. Good. Just you nuke away. Could get him this turn. This suffering must end. That fire being on there. That sucks. Um, I can't get all the way over there to attack him. Or a heal on anybody? Far away. Dang it. Alright. Yep. You're done. Wish they would have healed him instead of, uh, my possessed. What are you gonna do? Jeez. By the fires of Barret Nor. I'll sneak past them. Feel the snake fight. Hey Aviana, can you make Oh, you can't make it. Um Here, so he'll get the flanking. You're mine. So I might, if I can bring him over here, I will. I can't make it. Holding the line. We got this, though. Hmm. Spit on her. Spit. Yes. There we go. Lost one guy. The host falls into a pool of his own molten, bubbling blood. It screams as it spills. You said I would join you in Ilian. She lied. With his bare hands, Bagthal rips the demon's head from his body. The streamy blood drools from Bagdal's fist to his forearms, but it does not, uh, does not burn. With disdain, he tosses the head into, uh, head to the crowd. They gasp, then look on in hush. They awe. listen. Tell the people of Hurik what must be heard. You're being lied to. That falls over. You're lied to. Let's try that. You are all the servants of the Legion's machinations. Below your feet, they have been harvesting the dark powers of this festival. It must end. 
The horrifying realization waves over the motley crew. As they disperse, you overhear several demanding the heads of other demons. You stand astride Bagthal until the pits have completely emptied. Your words command ears. I do not understand this power. I've got the power. Uh, I beg to differ. Give yourself time to learn. I beg to differ, should we? Don't we'll just... be so hard on yourself. Your words are what commanded me to be here in the first place. Bagfall is noticeably humbled by your words. Seeing him so disarmed, so plain, you hardly recognize him. I was him. a general ready to earn blood in Verantor. Instead, the host forced me and my men to fight here. When we won, he forced us to fight each other. I earned their blood to survive. Bagthal, I, I... The demons are responsible. I killed to survive. The demons kill for joy. My friends, my betrothed, all of it for the joy of my pain. That's the past. Those days are over now. You're free. It is not over until I have heads. I know the list of demons who wronged me. Their deaths are my burden. Vengeance begins today. Join me in rage. Oh, so we're going to go on like this demon hunting crusade with him. Victor walks confidently and happily out of the pits. Pleased it will be his last time in you this know, place. You know, just once I would like to meet someone who doesn't scare the four heavens out of me. Well, you're kind of a pansy. You met me, didn't you? You're proving my point. So, <laughs> are we going to do it? Yeah, go on this killing spree of his, I mean. Time will tell, but I'd definitely rather have him fighting with his sword at my side than at my throat. Well, he was pretty darn weak when we fought him. <laughs> on that, we definitely agree. Your companion just learned their world skill. Each companion learns one world skill during their personal quest. With them, you can clear obstacles in the world and reach new places to explore. Hidden treasures, quests, secret passages can be discovered this way. To use uh, a word skill, simply interact with the obstacle that the companion is able to clear. The companion does not have to be part of your squad. Simply having them recruited in your army is enough. Be careful. For some reason, you end up losing your companion. The world skill is lost with them. Oh... I thought he's dead. Right there. To your surprise, you find the host returned and standing before you, though younger and, st and steaming, and as though he's been freshly pulled from the river of molten iron. Ah, the champion who finally killed my progenitor. Uh, progenitor? I've been waiting for this place for half an epoch. Here for a fight? Not the title's mine, and so long as I'm not beaten, the title remains mine, which is how I like it. <laughs> uh, let's do the quick heal here in my mana. The mana one over here? It is. Good. So it's topped up. Alright, so for the quests... Um... We don't have this one, but the cost of the creation is steep. I don't know what the cost of the creation is. So we just need to go back to Ilion. But I'm going to go out here and see if there's anything hidden. See if I can use this skill now. I believe it was the poison roots. I can never open before. We'll see if we find any more. And here. This. Can you open that? No. So he can only do the roots. Uh, is there any with roots? No, nah, we'll just leave. Not seeing anything. I 
I believe there's some maybe in the, the first zone. Here, all them level 20s. I don't see anything. All right, back to you, Lynn. All right, so let's take a look at our companions. Since we lost one, we can add another one back. I'm going to keep my companions the same. I really like Orion because he's extremely high damage. Of course, on to decent damage and has the heal. But I'm wondering if we get more companions throughout time. I mean, the back line might not, but I still got open spots. So either they're going to have it so I can only... I could put them how I want and just have extra room to move how I want how I want their uh, positioning, or I get to fill it up over time. Not sure. I believe we got to talk. Well, let's get our resources. Fine. Hoping maybe we can upgrade our stuff. I love that sword. Good to see you're making Ilian your home. You're stronger for having you with us. He grunts in agreement. But you and I are the same, in a way. We'd go mad without something to do. You plan to chain me? No. No, I plan to promote you. Back thought of nothing, Ilian needs a general to guard her. I want that general to be you. Do I have a choice? Of course you do. He thinks... Breathing noisily through his nose, as though forcing air through his brain might help the decision. I accept. I am your general. I will honor this promotion of Elian. You ever heard of Greyleaf? Ally with the second Woken? We're going to Greyleaf? Where dead warriors rise and fight again. Battle awaits. Uh, you're at the White Lands. It's a long shot, but I might want to trek. The White Lands to ally with the Elves. Where the ash is cold and falls from clouds? I've heard tales of it. it sounds worse than hell. Uh, how are you? Here's how you're doing. We, we've uh, been through a lot. The host is dead by my hands. The demons still uh, live. And they still chain those who can be chained. Alright. See you around. What do you have to say? Bechthal is incredible hearing him tell the tales of his life before the war. He is a man who has been through the flame and survived. Wait, you got him to talk? In his way, yes. He's living proof that all can uh, that all can overcome. The trials of Nevendar are not in vain. You two should be together. Should I say that? I don't know. Connection between two is no secret. Pursue the man. Well, I wasn't sure how you'd feel about it. We're on the brink of a great war in the history of Nevendar. You have a chance to show someone love. Take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. People say the Sepin Epoch was called the Epoch of uh, Hoylentoth, which means descent. But it's actually the third epoch. The second was the lost. Alright, so we yeah, look at the map. Let's head for White Lions or Grey Leaf. Difficulty is hard on this one. This one is normal. So I think we'll do Grey Leaf. Do it. We're going to fight undead. So, this is Greyleaf? It has a certain charm, I guess. We look at the bubbling swamps and inhale the rancid stink of death, oppressively blanketing the forest. Charm It's indeed. also quiet. Anyone stupid enough to walk these roads usually winds up dead or undead in minutes. Be, Be on your guard. If you hear or see anything move. Uh, scream like a lunatic and run for the trees? I was going to say, give me a sign. Screaming and running is a sign. 
<laughs> Ultimately, the Veil want us dead. The second Woken want the Veil dead. We're a perfect match. We just need to find their leader, whoever it is, and get them to listen. And not eat us. And that. You're about to choose a new class for Aviana. Class determines the skill that you can invest in across various skill trees, but also what type of weapons you wield while fighting. Choose a class that aligns best with your playstyle. Note that it's always possible to change classes and reassign skill points in Ilion. So, uh, feel no pressure to commit a single playstyle. You are free to experiment with any class you want during the adventure. Alright, here we go. So we got a Warlord. Studied in the battle strategy, trained in combat. Warlord prefers direct action and close combat. Warlords wield swords in battle. So like I get Piercing Strike. Strikes an enemy with precision and force. Dealing the physical damage, Piercing Strike ignores 50% of physical resistance and inflicts curse on target. Purification. Purifies the area surrounding Aviana, dealing divine damage to enemies, inflicts taunted on enemies, grants inspired to allies. Passive physical protection. Physical might to allies within two tiles. Okay. I gain two strength, three con. Uh, the Hexblade. Magical. This is what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, magical warriors trained in the way of the Hexblade. Mix martial and arcane abilities to deadly effects. Hexblades wield swords in battle. Get Venom Blade. Strikes with a poison-coated blade, dealing physical damage and inflicts poison on the target. Burning Verdict. Burns the target with Divine Truth, dealing divine damage. Inflicts paralyzed and burning on target. So I already got spells that cause everybody else to do burning. So, kind of nice. Everybody can burn somebody. Uh, Paths up is dexterous. Grants improved critical and evasive. Allies within two tiles. Strength, int, and dex. I get plus two. Now the seers is the mage. Uh, the seers are renowned and feared for being competent spellcasters who are more than capable of battling head-on. Seers wield a staff. So you got polar ray. Blast a beam of ice randomly. Bouncing between and uh, so chain, yeah. Well, it's a chain ice beam. Deals primal damage, inflicts chilled on targets. Get radiance. I'm gonna do two away, an area effect. Emits pure divine energy around Aviana, dealing divine damage to enemies and healing allies. Oh, that's kind of nice. Passive grants regen to allies within tiles, which is nice. Get three mana, con, and int. The witch, who's like the debuffer. Who physical, uh, physically weak. Witches are masterful spellcasters who conjure Nevendar's most powerful magics. Witches wield a staff in battle. Anguish. Burdens the target with dark searing magic, dealing unholy damage, inflicts bleeding, and afraid on the target. So afraid gives you negative two morale. Course, bleeding. Heaven's Light rains down divine light on enemy in the targeted area, dealing divine damage and inflicts weakened on targets. So the weakened gives you negative 15% of power in all resistance. Inspiring Power is my passive. Hardens allies, granting two divine might, gives you plus 25 divine damage, and unholy might to allies within two tiles. So I'm thinking the Hexblade where I can do a little of each. But do I... I don't need that other spell then. Right? Burns a target. Well, no. I mean, this would just be myself, though. And it paralyzes them so they can't move. So that's... Quite good. And, uh... For the ones that like to run away... Force of the Lost. What's for the Hexblade?
Open these up. Ethersen's boon. Man's hellfire. Increased HP of legions of the damned units. Boy, man. Access to divine. Oh, it resets everything. Oh, okay. So this is just how the hex plays. Okay, never mind. I thought it was added on to what I'm doing. Unholy and what? Is it unholy? No. Poison is unholy and divine. No. Deals primal damage at the beginning of each turn. Burning the gates regen. No, what is it? Oh, burning is divine, but this also does... All right, so it does divine... Primal and unholy. Okay. So I'm going to need all three of these. I'm going to cast a primal or an unholy offensive spell. She gains proof crit. Right, so let's see what we got down the bottom here first. When Aviana casts Divine or Twilight Offensive Spell, she gains Strong for three rounds. Same one. Increases resistance by 5% for who's standing beside her. Plus 5 to Divine and Unholy Power and Resistance. Gain access to Twilight Essence. An enemy lands a critical hit against Aviana, she gains 20% dodge. Increases her hit points. Initiative. Some of these are kind of the same. Yeah, some of these are the same. Primal Energies draws forth the power of Nevendar's self, increasing the resistance and primal power. Divine or Twilight offensive spells. Am I casting any Twilight? Uh, how many do I have? Oh, I got 20 points. Can't put any in. Maybe I have to select first. All right, here we go. Now, I gotta put a field tree in. So, divine and yes, we'll do that one. Uh, teamwork, yes. I like the idea that gives you power and all resistance increased by 10% for standing next to her. I like that. Uh, yeah, increase my hit points. For each unspent AP at the end of the turn, her crit chances are increased by... So basically 5% crit, or 10, if I don't do anything. When flanking, Aviana and her allies increase their damage. Yes. What is this one? Poison Blade. Get the upper hand, Aviana masters poison. Her abilities inflict poison on enemy. Yes. Now we're going to increase all those. She casts a primal or an unholy offensive spell. She gained. Yes. What do we open up? Avian learns to focus the mana flow, reducing the mana required by 2% and replenishing 4% of her maximum mana each round. Okay, we'll do that. Aviana Aura grows, increasing the range of all spells by one tile. Oh, that is fantastic. I might do the resistance. I might do the resistance. Draws forth the power of Nimbar itself, increasing primal resistance and primal. Oh, and power. Yes.
Okay, so we got magic. We gotta work more on our fighting. I need more points. I don't know if I want the the initiative. I just don't know. Enemy lands a critical hit, she gets increased dodge. Oh, if I keep more points in this, though, if she, any of it, she gets more. Yes, yeah, so we'll do that right now. So we got four points into that. I'll put one more, and I'll open up another one. 25% ch crit chance. Yeah, let's do that. That's insane. Monster Slayer learns the ways of the Huntress, dealing causing five plus or five percent damage against beast dragons, giants, against demons, undead, elves, humans. Manipulating the life stream, five percent of the damage Aviana deals is regained in, as hit points, and inflicts. So I can inflict bleed and poison constantly, and every time I do my other spell, it'll inflict burning. Man, I can just dot everybody up. Looks good. Let's confirm. Let's see how this goes. I tried looking for a build, and I didn't, I didn't find tons of builds on what I wanted to do. Six decks, six strengths. Uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep my XP. Oh, mine's better. Six strength, four initiative. That one's iffy. That one's iffy. Hmm. I lose initiative, so I would, uh, probably, it's a good chance I might not go second. But again, one strength in the decks. I'll have to think on that one. I'll have to think on that one. Okay. <clears throat> well, we're going to end it here. And, uh... Yeah, we'll continue here with Greyleaf. Now, this is the area I played when I did the... Demo. Uh, a long while back. So, I didn't get very far into here. So, I'm really excited to... Do the creepiness of the undead. Um, but I'd just like to thank everybody for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here, like to see more content like this, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.